Should you invite your beautiful Ukrainian woman on a tropical island vacation is the question you're contemplating right now. And guys, I see so many of you guys fucking this up that I just had to shoot this video to paint the picture of, you know, like every time in life, there's a right time and a wrong time. And the thing is, if you get this wrong, which I see time and time again, you're not only going to waste your, your, your time, your money, but far worse, you're likely going to get your heart broken. I mean, I just seen it too many times. So I decided to shoot this video about really when I'm going to give you two scenarios of red lights and one scenario of green light when it's okay to actually invite her on a tropical island vacation. Scenario number one, let's say, you know, you're like millions of guys, unfortunately tied up in this PPL or pay per play chatting with a beautiful Ukrainian lady online. And you guys, first the caveat is you guys got to know that 95 plus plus percentile, it's a scam. It's a ruse. That's the way this industry is rigged. So that's the first caveat there. And uh, maybe you got this brainiac idea to invite her on a tropical island vacation instead of going to Ukraine to meet with her. Absolutely full red light, full stop. Never do this. In fact, when I interviewed Dima, he's uh, the database owner of one of the largest databases of known scammers in Ukraine and Russia. When I interviewed Dima, who's been doing this for 18 years, he said, I asked him, how many times you know, have you seen a real situation where a Ukrainian lady flies to the man's country to meet him for the first time? Stranger. He said he can remember one time that that actually happens. You got to know, guys, that is almost an impossibility. Full stop on that scenario. Scenario number one. Okay. Scenario number two, you actually met her in Ukraine. Uh, let's leave it aside as a side topic how you met her, but you went to Ukraine, you met her, you had maybe two, three, four uh, dates and you feel, you know, you feel some chemistry. She, you feel in your gut that she, you know, likes you back. You feel that you guys have something. Now you flew home and you spent two, four, maybe even six months back home. Fairly typical situation. Now you guys have had regular contact, either Viber or WhatsApp every, you know, regularly, let's just say, and preferably on Skype video or WhatsApp or Viber video, much more preferred, much better chance that it's a real relationship if she's doing regular video chats with you. Okay. But suffice it to say, uh, you feel that she's really into you. Okay. Um, now you get this brainiac idea instead of going back to Ukraine to meet her a second time, you can invite her on a tropical island vacation. I strongly do not recommend that you go for this type of situation. Uh, but let me uh, throw in some like some caveats in this situation. Um, in this situation, uh, maybe you've had a little bit of intimacy, uh, maybe the first kiss, but that's all. You haven't, uh, you know, slept together and uh, you, you, you just have a slight little bit of intimacy or maybe no intimacy, okay? Then let me be straight up, dude to dude with you. I know a big reason why you've decided to invite her on a tropical island vacation because you want to get in her pants. You want to set up a scenario to make it easy for you to get in her pants. The, th the reason that's a bad idea is because you're putting pressure on her and you got to understand guys, Slavic women are not like our women. They're not so easy to hop into bed when she's a good girl. Okay. So that's a huge point guys. You don't want to put this pressure on her. And you know, I can say if she accepts your tropical island uh, paradise vacation invitation after only one time you were in Ukraine and met her like uh, two, three, four times, uh, sorry, but for me, she's failed the litmus test of good girl. You know, she's uh, probably, uh, well, highly likely got some kind of, um, you know, uh, hidden motivation. You know, maybe she just wants a vacation from you. So I'm just saying in this situation, it's a bad idea. The second reason you don't want to do it is you've lost your ability to discern if it's real. You know, you muddied the waters of discernment and you don't want to be doing that. You're in discernment mode. You, you're, you're, you're trying to understand if this is a real relationship, if you guys have the potential of building a future. So you just, for those are the two primary reasons that it's a bad idea. Okay. There's a, a litany of other reasons, but those are the two reasons. 
um, and I'm trying to keep this video a little bit short. So that's scenario two for red light. Okay, scenario three, because you guys all want to know, okay, when should I ask her? When is it okay to invite her on a tropical island paradise vacation? Well, let's paint the situation. Let's just take scenario two and expand upon it, okay? So you've already been to cave one time, had two, three, four dates. Uh, you've been back home for a number of months. The second time, you really need to go back to Ukraine to meet with her and uh, really, again, feel in your gut that she's really into you, okay? So you need to spend some time with her as much as you can. But let's say you go back for two weeks and again, you spend many days together, half days, full days, a lot of time. You guys have uh, conversations about your future. You've slept together already, okay? That's important before you go on a vacation together. You guys have already slept together. You have full-on intimacy, a full relationship. And you guys are talking about future a lot. And again, I stress, you feel in your gut. You know, trust your gut. Trust that you will understand when it's real. And if this is the situation, then sure. Once you go back home for the second time, you've had two trips together in Ukraine, some time has passed, more Viber contact, WhatsApp, should be Skype video guys, I strongly suggest. Huge tip, don't text too much. I've seen texting fuck up more relationship than Carter has liver pills, as they used to say. So uh, just uh, video, right? And in this situation, if you want to deepen your relationship by going on a tropical paradise vacation, why not? Absolutely, it gives you opportunity to be in a relaxing, uh, you know, uh, romantic atmosphere. It shows her that you're investing in your future together. It shows her, uh, you know, that you will spend on her, that you, you, you have this desire to give her the best, you know, to give her all you can give. It's important. Lady wants to know that her, her man, you should hear some kind of wording or some kind, something out of her indicating that she is calling you her man. Very important. If you don't hear that, then it's just a little bit of a red flag, okay? So in this situation, absolutely, green light, go have a great time in the tropical island paradise vacation. So I hope you got a lot out of this video, guys. I hope this speaks to you. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. I appreciate it if you could subscribe and click on the bell notification icon because that way, every time we go live, which is Saturday, Sunday, 10 a.m. Eastern, uh, we will answer all your burning questions. Thanks a lot, guys. Please comment below. And if you have any ideas of other topics you'd like us to cover, please put your suggestions in the comments below. Thanks very much, guys. Good luck on building a strong relationship and bring it all the way home to a happy marriage and family life. That's what I want for you guys. Take care. See you next time.